What's up guys, DK Web Design Studio here, bringing you another exciting episode where we're gonna be looking at how do you create a custom button using Wix. All right, so custom buttons. Wix by default has a number of options. They're all kind of okay, but if you wanna get really creative and you wanna put your own images in there, your own icons, uh, there's a very easy way to do it and get that hover effect where the mouse goes over it and it changes the image. So it's, there's a kind of a workaround way to do it. And I'm gonna even show you how I implement the graphic portion using one of my go-to softwares. It's not Photoshop, GIMP. Uh, and I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can download GIMP uh, and then also answer any of your questions. So leave me a comment and let's get straight into it. We're gonna go into my computer. I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, welcome to my computer. Let's get started. So. I'm here inside the Wix editor and I'm just gonna come to the side panel, click add, and then navigate down to where it says interactive. And then once you're in interactive, go ahead and find one of the, down here in the hover boxes, just find any of these, uh, any of them will suit our needs. One that preferably has less words on it. And, and then we're just gonna grab that and drop it into place. All right, so now that it's dropped into place what we're going to do is delete any of the words that are on it because i just want the image i just want this effect to apply to the images not to text delete the text over now if you want to keep text by all means keep it in there um, but i'm just going to work with images here so first things first is i'm going to open up gimp here and within gimp i, I found this picture of a banana man um, now, certainly Wix has its own image editing software. You could have the exact same effect, effect within Wix, but I like to use my own GIMP. I have a little bit more control. I can do more fancy things with it, and I'm used to using it. So um, I just opened up this image of the, of the dancing banana, and what I'm going to do is I just want to have one version black and white. So I'm going to come to Colors, Desaturate, and then I'm going to export that as a PNG and I'll say this is Banana Man um, B and W. I'm going to save that as a, as a PNG. PNG or JPEG doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. Alright. Just export that. And then I'm going to basically do an undo. So I have a color version of it and I'm going to export that as um, Banana Man Color. PNG. All right. So now we have two versions of the banana, one in color and one in black and white. All right. Let's go back to Wix and then I'm going to change on the regular tab. I'm going to change the background. Click image and change the background to the first, the black and white banana. I've already uploaded these two images. All right. Let's change the background. So there's my first banana, all right? And then let's do, let's do the second banana. So for the second banana, I'm just gonna come to the hover and we're gonna change the background. Go to image, then click the color banana, change background. And there you have it. So, and let's move that to maybe the top of the site. So once that's done, now we can preview our website and there's the blank. Now when I hover over it, check that out. And that's really all there is to it. Now there's a number of other things you could probably do and we can do this with buttons. Um, for now, let's focus this with the point of this was just to have a cool effect with an image, basically making a hover box image um, makes your website more interesting, more interactive. Um, and so these are pretty easy to use and customize. Wix makes it super simple. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing freelance web design tips.